Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and today I'm going to get my hair done. It's been a while. I think the last time I like toned it was January and it's currently May. It's been a really long time. Um, my money pieces are growing out. I just kind of want to do something a little different for summer um, and I have two options. I either want to keep it ashy. It's pretty much what I already have but just add a little bit more color so like lighten it up a bit or we can go warmer and I've always been really really scared of this even in my past like hair dyeing videos I've always said like ask for it ashy so I don't even know if I should go warmer but like something in my heart is just telling me to go warmer and lighter but I'm just like a little bit worried because I obviously have like warm brown skin so I don't know if it's gonna like actually look good against my skin if that makes sense obviously I wouldn't ask for like anything orange or like red but I've just been seeing this beautiful caramel color all over Pinterest and I feel like Kylie Jenner is the first person that I saw that I loved it on but obviously she is definitely not my skin tone so I'm gonna ask my hairstylist what she thinks about the warmer tones and see if she can make it happen or even see if she thinks it will look good on me and then kind of take it from there if you have never dyed your hair the one thing I will tell you guys is that hair fades so it's really hard um, when people ask me like, oh, what color did you ask for? Because first of all, I didn't really ask for a color. I just like showed her pictures at first and like, you know, just showed her like inspo of what I wanted and she could kind of like recreate it from there. Also, my hair does fade. So it was a lot darker, especially when she tones it. It definitely is darker than what you see now. There was this one point where my hair looked so good and then I cut it all off and um, dyed it again. And I really regretted it, but also like it kind of needed a touch up, you know, like everything was just getting a little grown out um but i do want that like money piece like i want like lightness around my face i definitely need a haircut because my bangs like this is my longest bang and that is so long like usually i try to like go for like here you know um last time i got more of like a blunt cut but then i asked her to just texturize the ends so it doesn't look like a blunt cut but then if you go to style it or like braid it or anything you won't have like the layers situation i feel like my hair used to grow so fast but ever since i dyed it it definitely slowed down a lot and i was so sad because i chopped it off thinking it was just gonna grow back in like two months but it is taking a really long time so i really don't want to chop off like a lot i literally just want her to get the dead ends off so We'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm really excited. Um, I'm actually going to my friend, Mariana, because she's gonna do my hair, and then I'm gonna take her maternity photos, so we're doing a little swappity swap. I'm really excited to take her maternity photos because she already has a daughter, and I think she's gonna do like a cute little mommy and me kind of thing. It's gonna be adorable. Um, but I kind of want to take a couple of like TikToks so I can like do a transformation video on TikTok. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we can leave for the salon. I just got to the salon, and I'm getting a little nervous now and you know that feeling when you're like okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna go big and then you literally freak out and just play it safe because I feel like I'm feeling those vibes but hopefully she like encourages me to do you know something different I'm here with Mariana and we are getting started on my hair so do you want to explain like what you're thinking <laughs> so we're definitely going to put it all in foil just because Sonali has like super dark hair. I know she wants to cut a lot of the brassiness so putting it in foil is going to help um, to really protect the heat and make sure the hair is lightening evenly and very thoroughly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's also a technique called um, like painting on the hair so we're going to stay away from that because that's usually when you have ashy or the brassy tones oh. and we want to get rid of those. Yeah. So all in foils, really small sections, balayage effect, teasing. I'm excited. I think so we're going to go a little bit lighter and just bring the color up and like more color for the summer because I feel like my hair just grew out like now I'm looking at it and now it, it just like looks black again. So I definitely want to get more color in there. Yeah. It's 
so I'm taking out the foils. It is looking very light because we did want to cut through all of that brassiness because that's like the one thing Sonali was telling me that she did not like about her hair sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, once we rinse all of these guys out, we'll add the toner and so then we'll decide like what tone we want. Although I think Sonali already decided. <laughs> I think I'm leaning towards warmer. I posted a um, TikTok and a Reels about it, and half the people are like ashy for sure, and then the other people are like, oh my god, lighter yeah, and warmer yeah. for sure. I'm like, someone please be make a decision for me. I shared your poll, and yes. mine has 75% for like the caramel tone. Oh my gosh, okay, so. well, it's decided. I think we're going for it. Also, I fell asleep, but who's shocked? <laughs> I went blonde, guys. Literally, oh my god, it's crazy. So I'm putting on the toner. We're gonna have two different toners. I have one that's a little bit darker and one that's a little bit lighter. So we did the highlights and then I'll put like the darker one a little bit closer to the roots and then blend it to the other color and that's just gonna create like the perfect grow out as it fades. Love it. getting a haircut while I'm here because I never get haircut so it's much needed. <laughs> Mariana's gonna tell you guys what she did exactly so in case you guys want to know for your next hair appointment she's gonna tell you okay. So we did a foliage what that means is that it's a balayage but it's all going to be put in foil so that way we were really able to cut out all of the brassiness I know I said that but you cannot stress that enough um, that's one of the biggest things it's really really small sections but you always want to mimic um, like what a balayage should be so some of them are painted all the way up to the root some of them are not and then I always do teasing so that way it'll um, I get rid of that harsh line that can sometimes appear with the grow out. And then with the toner, we did a shadow root plus like the rest of the toner. So a darker, darker toner and then melt it into a lighter toner. That's also going to help the whole fading process and the whole growing out process. So hopefully this will last Sonali a really long time. Yay! Thank you so much. I'm so excited Yay. to like style it and just you know, put take off my mask and see yeah. it without my mask, but all right, it's my new hair, people. It's been about two weeks since I've gotten my hair done and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like curled and then just like in different lighting because the hair salon lighting was like a little bit weird. Um, but it does look a little bit less dramatic when it is curled, but so pretty. It definitely is a little bit lighter than I'm used to, but I just love like the face framing layers. Like I said, we did kind of like venture off to the warm and like lightness, but still kept it a little bit ashy. Um, but I will keep you guys updated on how much it fades because she said that she did like a root smudge, I think it's called. So up here is like a darker toner and then it's just gonna start fading so it like blends really naturally. So I'm excited to see what that looks like because this time around I wanted to make sure it was gonna be able to blend really nicely so I wouldn't have to go back to the salon very often. I think um, the last time or this time I got it done, it took about four hours around with a haircut and a blowout and everything like that. I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. There's definitely gonna be a lot more photos of my hair there. So if you need any pictures to show your hairstylist, they'll be all over there. And if you go to this one Instagram post, I um, posted all of those videos that I put in this vlog. So it'll be really easy to just send over your hairstylist. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.